Good morning. Hi. Uh, so this morning I'm going to do a, a drawing. Um, I've just got my pencils uh, and a rubber and sharpener. So I think really it is going to be just a drawing this morning. We'll see now. I, I mean, I have still got all the oil pastels and everything over there. Oh, and Linda, um, Margo is on the window, so you see her over there. Um, so we need to let her in. Anyway, um, so there's the a knot in the curtain over there. Do you see that? And I'm thinking I'm going to do um, a drawing of that knot. That's my plan. Okay, so I'll set you up here so that you can hopefully see what I'm up to. And it's just photocopy paper I'm using today. So really simplifying down here big time. Okay, and those are the lilies. They're, uh, I just took off all the dead heads on them this morning. And uh, they're still surviving, so they're lovely. Okay. All right, so uh, there's the vertical of the curtain coming down. And then I'm just going to find some of these shapes. I mean, the light and dark isn't so clear, really. But there are some really lovely shapes to observe here. And I'm going to break it down into triangles, parallel lines, right angles, you know, to see if I can find ways of making this simple for myself. And wherever the light is falling, a broken line is quite effective. And like I said before, when it's in the shadow, I find that a continuous darker line uh, works to explain the dark side. Okay. And I'm just noticing that the furthest point out over to this side is that third. I mean, it's kind of going diagonally that way, so I may not fit in even the little kick of the end of the curtain as it extends out there to the left. No, I'm, yeah, don't know if you can actually see anything much there. It's quite dark this morning. I chose not to turn on the main light. When I was doing my yoga, sometimes the my neighbours come out and they'd be looking at me kind of, um, you know, I, I feel like they might be looking at me, maybe they're not a bit interested. But it's just less conspicuous when I've got the lamp rather than the main light on. It's, I feel like I'm kind of on show if I, if I have the main light on. It's, like, it's so bright. Okay. I'm looking at the volume of the volume of this part in relation to that. Um, and the shape of this part maybe it needs to be a touch bigger. I like the way that the um, that there's a little section of wall here that's going to outline the shape for me as well. So I'm heading up to Loch Lomond this morning, or at least at 12 o'clock, I'm picking up one of the other women who's coming on the retreat. And we're going to head up together then at 12 o'clock. And uh, I think I'll throw my easel in the car with, um, you know, knowing that I don't have to use it. But if it's there, I can. I might just want to do little low-key, small, sketchy things. We'll see. And I've printed out, um, you know, when I, sp I spoke about um, chickens being a great subject, and Barry, thanks for sending me that um, picture of a rooster, I think it was. Great photograph of a um, rooster or hens um, that Barry sent me that I'm going to take with me. And uh, if I do nothing else, I'll do a drawing of them. A hen in the background, so a rooster and a hen. So you could be thinking about um, how you could find maybe some live hens. It'd be even better if you could sit and have a look at them as they scratch about and do some drawing. Maybe take your own photo. But Barry's photograph is brilliant and it's a rooster with attitude like. So I was inspired to draw that. 
maybe the women who are on retreat with me might enjoy doing that as well so we'll see I might be joined by a few more people hmm. okay I don't know if you can see what's going on there see I'm just making a start there to find the position of things in relation to each other So I'm looking, really looking more at the knotted curtain than I am at the page because that's where my information is coming from and I don't want to feel like I'm being uh, precious about this it's just really to observe and be curious as to what shapes are made and to see if I can get a feel for the folds through my drawing so there's a really um, observing with care and being um, you know true to the subject I suppose in that I want to capture the essence of this shape or actually I don't want to I just want to see what what unfolds as as I draw that's what, what's kind of pleasing about all of this is like you you don't really you don't know what it's going to look like first and like Picasso said if you already know what it's going to look like why bother doing it so it's a very exciting process what we're doing in these 30 days just to kind of let unfold what will and uh, savor the process of it all and the witnessing of it really And I appreciate your company, you know, big time. Thanks very much for joining me on this. As I call it, an adventure. I prefer adventure to challenge, because I think challenge sets us up for feeling like we're doing a job or, you know, something that's kind of going to be good for us, but we won't like it, which I can't be bothered about. I mean, for God's sake. I think we need to... have got enough things that we can do. Uh, are obliged to do, I suppose. Or f well, maybe not. We feel that way, though. It feels that we're obliged to do things, doesn't it, sometimes? Okay, now... Uh, and I'm relating across the way when I find the end of one fold and kind of relating it across the horizontal to see where that would meet the fold on the other side. So that's why I lifted that up a bit. I wanted this, these two to come down a little here. Uh, I'm keeping myself as loose and lively as I can be. Uh, any point of intersection, I'm kind of relating it to a vertical and horizontal so that I feel like I'm not working blindly but I've got kind of anchor points that allow me to create a scaffolding over which I can do this uh, shading uh, once the time comes. And you find with, with shadow that the time comes on its own. It's like gradually, what I find anyway is that I, I need to go from line to tone as I work or it feels like a natural thing to, to do that, to move from uh, explaining with line to then filling in or um, creating the folds and the structure uh, with with tone. So you can go so far with line. And David Hockney used to do amazing things with line, didn't he? Really swift pen drawings. I think he said that it was very simple to copy, but not so easy to do in the first place, the continuous line drawing. Um, but in the absence of um, David Hockney's skill, well, I don't know, in the absence of um, line only, I don't know why I'm, I'm saying it like that, in the absence of. What I mean is, I think tone uh, is a way of helping to describe form even more than line. So we might as well use what we can and there is no colour today so no, I'm just going to go speaking of tone I'm just going to do the, the shadow that's in the um, in the little bit of the wall behind there to set apart off you go the shadow that's in the wall behind to set apart um, the folds from the architecture boom 
quite nice that the fold goes around the back there so I'm going to emphasize that by finding where the shadow stops and the light is open there. And this is quite a dark shadow here too. I'll go back to that later. I don't want it to supersede every other shadow. Sometimes it's quite nice not to have all the variables of the collage and the oil pastel. I better not even think about it because as soon as I think about it I start thinking, oh I could use some of that there. So let's just leave that. And we all have a pencil or a pen, and a, as I say, the back of an envelope that we can work on. And if, if every day of your 30 days has been using just a pencil and a piece of paper, fair play to you. I take my hat off to you all, really, for managing to keep some level of consistency here and to forgive yourselves when you don't manage that. Because it's all part of the whole thing, isn't it? So yesterday I posted the um, yesterday I posted the drawing of the tabletop. Oh, you're still there, good. Uh, the breakfast table, you know. Lily was off school and and uh, I posted that yesterday. I'd, I'd filmed it the day before, but it was funny. Yesterday uh, the gasman had to come out on an emergency for me to change the meter back from being a smart meter to the ordinary one because there was some issue, some paperwork issue where they couldn't they couldn't accept payments. Anyway, so he was here for ages and he, he was a really nice guy, chatting away on the phone to all the different people to make sure he'd sort it before I went away for the weekend. Like, So um, while he was here, I made some scones and um, we sat and had a, a scone and uh, coffee straight from the oven. He was delighted with it. And later on, when I got home, so I left him at it. I said, look, I know I'm not supposed to do that, but I needed to go to an appointment in town. So I left the gas man here and I said to him to take a scone away with him. But when I came back, there was just a, a note beside the scone saying, uh, can you text me the recipe? So I'm going to do that now this morning. Because I think he was surprised at how simple it was. And my, it was my mum who always made it look simple. Um, throwing scones in the oven was something that she did whenever anybody came to the house. So if there was nothing else, you'd know that we, like with the hens, we had eggs. And uh, there was always flour and milks. So um, since then, I know, I know that it's a 15 minute job. Like, and I never measure anything. So it's kind of hard to text him the recipe because there is none really. It's just like chuck it in and hope for the best. So, but I'll, I'll send it down. Okay. She said, "No, you're still there. You are. Just another few few seconds to go now." So, I think what I'm going to do next is um, just the last little bit to fill in that because I think it's quite nice having something linear, um, and that little triangle of wall there is a linear contrast to the beautiful organic folds. And if this runs out, this is 30 days apart with Anya. I think this might be day 22 or something like that, but don't take my word for it. Have a look at what it says in the title. All the very best. Enjoy this now. See ya. Actually, I've got 15 minutes. Gosh, it was very really good. Yeah, and you could, you could fold something that has a, you could knot something that has a pattern in order to make it even more of a challenge.